Hey there, everybody. Thet here, and welcome back to Thet Plays the Darkest Dungeon. Last time, Dismas Reynold, Percival Persephone, went to the courtyard, took on the Viscount, and we're done, right? Well, not quite. There's still the Countess, which I did forget about. Fair. Very fair. Okay. Also, got mad at the mod... Still mad at it. Still think it's... You know, it's not like the whole mod. At least in this case. Yeah, the, the, it's a little rough in the champion level. But really, it's just a couple of dang enemies. And the fact that it already has, like, some of the most annoying enemies in the game to me. is kind of on top of that already. So, you know... A lot of the hatred towards the courtyard is not just because of the mod. But tell that it's from the mod. Anyway. I got a question for you. What do you think is the stupidest team I ever took out? You know, I haven't done like a four leopard team or anything like that, but I mean like, of all the ones I've done, like anything related to the Ubi Bozu would be a good guess. Like I just took my strongest team the first time I fought him. That was pretty dumb. You know? Taking a freaking Blight team to the Warrens if I've done that, you know, when you're not well equipped for it. It's pretty dumb. Scratch all your answers, because you're wrong. Today's our dumbest one. We gotta take on this Countess. We're gonna do it. And this is our team. <laughs> and you're not looking at it incorrectly. Our team is Croc and Gumbolt. Croc, with the unique charm, Ancestor's Lucky Gold Frog, Life Soul Key, and Astral Spider Brain. You can probably guess what we're trying to do there. Gumball with Last Light Martyr's Halo, Seraph's Halo, Seraph's Staff. So we got real deal heals, real big slaps. That's the plan. I'm sticking to it. We're going to go without a full contingent. The game's even like, dude, you sure you want to do this? And honestly, I should be like, no. I'm not. This is the dumbest thing I've ever done in this game. And that's saying something, probably. Because I've done a lot of dumb things in this game. But I really do think this might be number one. I'm going to take a few of these shards. I'm going to take a few of these Aegises as well. I'll take two. Just two. Alright, let's do it. In those younger years, my home was a hive of unbridled hedonism. A roiling apiary where instinct and impulse were indulged with wild abandon. Yeah. A bewitching predator slipped in amidst the swarm of tittering sycophants. Though outwardly urbane, I could sense in her a mocking thirst. Mm. Driven half mad by cloying vulgarity, I plotted to rid myself of this lurking threat in a grand display of sadistic sport. But as the mm -hmm. moment of murder drew nigh, the gibbous moon revealed her inhuman desires in all their stultifying hideousness. Well, dang! So what you're saying is, the ancestor, he doesn't tolerate no thirsty bitches. But, this one, she may be thirsty, but she's no mere bitch. At last, the countess reveals herself. I apologize for the last minute. But anyway, a commentary. But let's do this. Alright, uh, well, I mean, this would be the farthest spot, so that's where we should go. Dude, he's got, he's literally head and shoulders taller than Gumball. God dang, either Croc, you're super tall, or Gumball is super short. And honestly, I'm pretty sure both of them are true. Okay, potential stress problems in this. That's probably our biggest potential issue is just raw ass stress I'm just gonna make that true huh I'm genuinely surprised they all went after him like at the same time all right sure I guess I just realized two of her moves cannot even be used in the second position we have to change her moveset around but that's okay we're gonna use this I want to see if I can get an extra turn on time loop. I'm kind of curious. One, to see if it's possible. And two, to see if, um... Jeez. To see if the extra move actually works properly. Because I know it's possible that they don't work properly. How long does the speed buff last? Four rounds? Okay, so it's not going to... 
brilliant gotcha. of skill and purpose. The speed buff is not going to last between battles. Is what we're getting at there. Alright. We know this. It doesn't surprise us. Nor should it. Also, we're like guaranteeing that we're going to have a bunch of stress. But, hey, what are you going to do? Not have a bunch of stress like a loser? Obliterated. Go ahead and get rid of that bug first. We do have a huge speed buff on the first round, though. So... We're going to use this some more. Gumball's going to be like, oh no. But that's all right. We can live with a little bit of oh no. I, yeah, if I don't see a single spider brain, like, at any time, I might actually switch these two... Switch one of their skills around, or one of their abil... Trinkets. That's what they're called. Because it doesn't look as... It is clocking in, and maybe it's not worth having. Destroyed. Nah, it didn't. Very cool, very cool. The blood quickens. Of course you go for a double hit. I'm sorry, a slap back for a hundred? <laughs> wow, the death's door didn't even proc. Foolish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. I mean, he's healing way more, but yeah, Bloom is technically useless. Rose's Embrace is technically useless, so... Maybe we go with Rose's Offering, since it has a self-buff. And then... Rose's Thorn, since it can be used in any position. However, I mentioned it, and I think I'm gonna do it. We don't... We probably won't need the key. I'm gonna swap... Seraph's Halo... And... The Astral Spider Brain. Okay. So now she has a chance for an extra turn. He gets... Let's see. Extra stress healing skills, less damage received. But, more importantly, he can cure his own Blight and Bleed. The extra restoration could be fun too, but... I think the ability to cure his own Blight and Bleed is the big part there. Plus, of course, these buffs last for three battles. Again, unfortunately not the speed one. This is the same fight! Except stronger. Except the enemy's stronger now. What the heck? It's a bloody game. A momentary abatement. Thankfully, we have some amazingly good heals. Which we're gonna need. Nice. Okay. We're just gonna get one of these right away. Eh, maybe we should do more than one. Now that I think about it. Because when I do think about it... Confusion, nerves, and panic. The restoration is now free. That wasn't, I swear I wasn't spending all that time just thinking about it. But it is true. Uh, get rid of this. Okay, he should move first next turn. Piercing foreleg. Killed on the slapback. No. The slapback kill heals him, which I guess is just something that rage does? I guess? I don't... I don't know, actually. I'm guessing that's the case. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Damn, man, these battles. So many of them. Oh, he still has a speed boost. Nice. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. That was a good start. Damn it. Good dodge from Gumballdo. Gumball still has the dodge uh, bonus, too, from the heals. Actually turning out to be extremely useful right now. And, of course, the move that is probably, like, the dumbest thing in this game. <laughs> in the modded game. <laughs> Giving a regular-ass unit the ability to give everyone an extra move. Like, come on. What was going through your brain meats when you did that? Like, she's not even a, a weak unit. Like, she's pretty darn strong. Honestly. Going with the defense here. Okay, power up. <laughs> Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, stress is going to be a problem with Gumball, and that's probably not something we're going to be able to stop easily. This guy's 45 prot. Their formation is broken. Why? Oh, he got his extra move. Croc got a second move. Yes. Press this advantage. Give yes. Keep it going, Croc. Continue the onslaught. He just chopped down the entire team. Them all. That was amazing. Yo. Oh, blood works with this, huh? I think it does something bad, though, doesn't it? That wasn't that bad. <laughs> we already had the curse. So it was like, alright. Cool. Packs laden with loot. Food. Often low on supplies. Food's actually a really good thing right now. Alright, cool. Hi there! Oh, this is very winnable. Very stressable too. I just gotta hope Gumball gets a uh, virtue. Oh my god, she has so many things on her right now that they're actually, like, sticking together. What is going on? Um... Oh! Yes, okay, I used the right one. I used Protect Me. That's what I wanted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Monstrous size has no intrinsic merit. Unless inordinate... <laughs> is a virtue. Oh, this is fun. You feel protected. Well, that's nice. Um, yeah, keep getting protected. Let's see, do we have a campfire? We do have one campfire. Literally one. Eldritch push doesn't mean much. As the fiend falls, okay. A faint hope blossoms. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. I'm thinking the only thing I really think I made a mistake with on this. Yeah, it's funny. Uh, made a mistake with. Actually, we could do that fight on this team. By foul invention. Is placing uh, Gumball on it. I should have gone with a stress healer and given him last light martyr's halo. If I had done that, this team would probably be invincible. Oh, dear God. Wait, the loyal manservant didn't get an extra move. That seemed weird. Anyway, there's a stress break. Come on, Virtue. It's probably not going to happen, but come on, Virtue! Yep, nope. Alright. can be no hope in this hell. No hope at all. Well, this is a problem. Oh, okay. God, why does why does she have the ability to give them extra moves? Why? Why was that considered a good idea by someone? The thirsty. Yeah, come on, bring it on, you thirsty bitch. Wait, she just did two move two stress things at a hmm. Seems excessive. Thought you were supposed to be limited to one, but okay. Oh, I probably should have gotten rid of that horror too. That was my bad. Probably should have gotten rid of his too, but his is not that bad. Crocs is not nearly as big a problem. Oh dear God, man. The abyss returns even the boldest gaze. Jesus Christ. Can you lay off for five minutes? Yeesh! Bastards. Two more rooms. A trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. Okay, that helped a bit. I'll take the 20. Ooh, no fights in this area. Good, good, good. This is excellent. I'll take the extra accuracy. 55, 60. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Crocs method of... I give up? Alright, I understand. I admire Crocs, um... 
tactical tactical uh, attempt to disarm the trap by standing in front of it. It didn't work, but I admire the hell out of it. All right, mow him down. Damn it, I was really hoping for mow more mowing. And the ward grows stronger. Well, that's nice. Tell that ward I'm I appreciate it. Cool. Six dodge, five speed. I mean, I was going to take a closer look at it, but I can't see any of its stats, so I can't. Grave Nibble! Hmm. Not my favorite move to get hit by. There's no point in struggling. My aura weakens. Slap the damn maggot! Now dodge it. That's not a dodge! How do you have 47 dodge and you're getting hit by maggots? Yeesh. It's just embarrassing stuff. Uh, now it misses. It didn't even have enough accuracy to roll a hit. And you still... Oh, yay, yay. Good dodge by Croc. Because at least Croc can dodge a, a maggot. This expedition at least promises success. I mean, obviously. I'm going to give him 30% damage, 5% crit. Alright, so we made it here with full health. <laughs> Nearly. So that's impressive. This arrives. Anomalous in aspect. And bent on exacting terrible revenge. From beyond the bounds of decency. That was good. That was actually legitimately a good move. I wanted this. This is what I wanted. Oh, damn it, the sway move. Oh, look, it's the five billion stress. Actual goddamn horseshit. Anyway, we actually can't use rage right now, so we're, we're gonna we're gonna hold out. We're gonna make this fight go until we can use ra rage, not range. Yeah, nice try. Croc won't let you do it, though. So is this the same as the doppelganger? Except she gets infinite moves, for some reason. Because it's kind of looking like it's almost the same, other except she gets infinite moves. Anyway. Let's get strong. Get mad. Duh. <laughs> and watch numbers go up. Hmm. So if I just keep going <laughs> until Gumball has a heart attack, would that be would that be a bad thing for us to do? Would that be callous at all? <laughs> Maybe a bit. I'm just saying. If we could just hulk out and get the victory here, that'd be pretty great. Alright. So far, not bad. Just keep that number going up. Hopefully, she's going to spend a turn either doing flush. Actually, that'd be the only one that would help us right now. Hopefully, she'll spend a turn using flushed. I should say that would be the main one that would help us right now. All right. Keep it going. It's not like... I mean, the stress is the only negative effect we're getting from any of this. So... If we could follow this up with enough of a heal to keep him off that store, we'd really have everything going for us. Okay, one more. I think. Yeah. We'll stop her at 189 stress. But, before we use our move... We're gonna slap down this Aegis. Give him a little bit of action. Let's slap down the Power Shard, too. Oh my goodness, got rid of all the negative effects. Giving him perfect protection. All right, get the fuck out of here. Where I failed, you have succeeded. And the world is better for it. Okay, dissection kit for the Plague Doctor. Extra bleed skill chance, 25% damage. Holy crap. That's a lot of damage. 
<laughs> he said the thing. Uh, enchanted blindfold for the seer. I almost said for the crimson court. Debuff resist, less stress, more HP, less dodge, but uh, huge healing skills when teamed up with the other crimson court item. So that's nice. Uh, drop the herbs. Let's go ahead and rest up. A spark without kindling is a goal without hope. Oh, most of the da oh, also most of the damage and stuff I think went away with the rest. Which made me realize that was the mistake. Now ah, well. Fear not, I am here. It all hurts so much I can't. I do not deserve your kindness. Alright, well, you are being extremely useful. But at least you healed him. Thanks. Alright, well, if I would gotten a little bit of forward momentum there, I might have gone back and gone back to here and tried fighting the doppelganger too. But this is too much stress. We gotta leave. Mercifully, the morbid encounter resolved itself in my favor. And I set to work pursuing degeneracy in its most decadent forms. Hmm. The air pulsed with anticipation as I revealed the unnatural terroir of the house vintage. But my exultation was cut short as the attending gentry turned upon themselves in an orgy of indescribable frenzy. A single drop of that forbidden tannin gifted me with a dizzying glimpse of the hibernating horror beneath my feet. And in that moment, I understood the terrible truth of the world. I stood reborn, molted by newfound knowledge, my head throbbing to the growing wine of winged vermin come to drink the tainted blood of the darkest dungeon. Yeah, you, you are not a smart man. Well, this vampire lady, I'm gonna freaking take her blood, feed a bunch of dudes, drink some myself. What the hell are you thinking? Hey, anyway, we also got this for the Vestal. It's pretty great. Blueprint, nice. Everyone's got uh, Crimson Kois, distressed. Less accuracy while guarded. Ooh, that's pretty bad for someone with a guard skill. Opportunist. Extra damage against stun targets. Replaced Manslayer, though. I don't know. I always thought of Croc as a bit of a Manslayer, but... Once our estate was the envy of this land. Okay. The curse is now curable. Neat. So, with that done... We'll equip all trinkets. Let's, uh, that's not where I wanted to go. Actually, it kind of is. Gumball, get in here. Get rid of that. And everyone else, we can get rid of the, uh, madness in your veins. If and you're a candidate for the madness going away. So, Maven, you're, you're next up. Novocaine, you're next up. Get that stuff out of there. Actual garbage. All right. Cock actual cockroach. Actual trap maker. That's not that bad. Alright, so... The doppelganger's still here. I is this a recurring boss now? Or what? That would be the question, would it not? You know, we've lost a couple of, of good, good people. See if we can get them back real quick. Alright, get out of there, Reynold. Or I should say, get in there. He said I was born for this. Apparently he's born to walk down a hallway and resurrect a friend. This is why he was put on this plant. Shuffles feet a bit. Bring back some dudes. Hey, how you doing? Return to the hamlet, please. Beautiful. What'd you get this time? Dark Temptation. It seems to be going around lately. My obsession caused this great foulness. And it is shameful that I must rely upon hey. you to set it right. Yeah, welcome back, buddy. You were only level 5. I didn't even remember that. Welcome back, nonetheless. 
Good to see you here. What is with the nothing but trash? Nothing but trash and cockroaches. What's going on? All right. Here's some more Crimson Curse while we're here. I know we have more. There you go. Okay. And with that in mind, that is going to be this episode of that plays. Yeah, I know. I don't know. Uh, the Darkest Dungeon. If you enjoyed it, make sure let me know by giving it a like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more. Thanks for watching this episode of Darkest Dungeon. A little short but sweet one for you. And I will see you in the next video.